Hey, I am Bruno Albouz in the French Basque country where the Gâteau Basque was created. I am 99% sure that this luxurious version of a chestnut filling has not been created yet and I had no clue what it tastes like. It's my first try. So, see what happens. My gosh, <sighs> first let's make the gâteau basque dough. In the mixer bowl, throw in the softened butter, salt, sugar, flour and baking powder, eggs and rum, all at once and mix, just until combined. The key here is to get things binded as quick as possible, so you really want to make sure that the butter is very soft to begin with, but never melt it. Super easy, right? Wrap up the pastry and chill completely. Next, the chestnut custard. So I'm going to heat up my milk and meanwhile, I'm going to add a tiny bit of sugar to begin with and the remaining in my egg yolks. Next, flour and cornstarch. Temper the egg yolk mixture, add remaining milk and whisk well. and put it back into my saucepan. Scrape it. You don't want to waste a drop. Turn the heat back on, on medium high. Bring to a boil, whisking swiftly, and cook for two minutes more. Then transfer the hot chestnut custard in a narrow container. Add the rum, chestnut paste, and chestnut cream, and blend well. Cool and chill because the candied chestnut, Mount Glacé, chestnut paste and cream are shipped from France. These items are known to be on the expensive side and used during the holiday season. So once a year, indulge yourself. To follow, I am going to roll out my pastry into a quarter inch, four millimeter thick disc. You don't want something too thick nor too thin. By the way, I like to use a buttered and floured pizza pan, but you can use any pan you have. Just make sure that it doesn't end up too high. Unfold the basque dough in the middle of the pan, then gently press in it, rotating the pan as you go. Then spread evenly the chestnut custard, followed by the candied chestnut pieces. My secret weapon? Hazelnut praline. We made it from scratch many times, remember? So you can definitely make your own. You can purchase it or just skip it. It's optional, but as we know, what's optional, it's more likely to be better with. Roll out the remaining dough and enclose this beauty. Trim off excess dough, egg wash twice, and make a nice crossing pattern using the back of a fork. Make a couple of teeny holes and chill to rest. Meanwhile, make a quick lemon glaze with lemon juice and powder sugar. And as soon as the gâteau basque is baked, it should take about 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius. Glaze it, let's set in the oven for one minute and let cool completely. Unmold and slice out. Serve as is or just warm with a kernel of lemon verbena ice cream. About that, ooh la la. I hope guys, you have enjoyed this unique holiday treat episode. To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. But for now, please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, of course, and Pinterest. Merci beaucoup, bon appétit, and see you next time.